And if a fire breaks out in your house, seconds matter. That's why most of us have smoke detectors to alert us. But do you know what kind of smoke detectors are in your home right now? Uh, there are two different types of technologies inside of those life-saving tools. Lily Cummings explains how knowing which you have could increase your chance of getting out. Did you know there's two types of smoke detectors? So what's the difference? We came to the St. Tammany Fire Protection District number one in Slidell to find out. You have two different types, ionization and photoelectric. Photoelectric smoke detectors like this one use LED light. The photoelectric is more light driven. It's like an LED light and when the, the smoke particles get into the chamber, it breaks the light or deflects the light to where it sets the, the, the sensor off. A smoke sensor ionization. Meanwhile, the ionization detectors use a different type of technology. They have a small amount of radioactive material between two electrically charged plates. It ionizes the air and causes a current to flow between them. But when smoke enters the chamber, it disrupts the ions and reduces the flow of the current, activating the alarm. The ionization detectors, they, they actually detect more of your flame fires quicker than the photoelectric. The photoelectric detector detects the more smoldering fires a little bit quicker. So what kind of smoke detectors do you have in your home? There's only one way to find out. Every detector is going to have a, a, a label on it. It'll tell you if it's both, if it's ionization or photoelectric. You'll see an I, a capital I or a capital P. That'll determine which one you have or if you have one that does both. Because photoelectric detectors sense smoldering fires better and ionization detect flames quicker, it's best to have both. And we recommend always to have both because you can't predict as a homeowner what type of fire you'll have. So having an ionization or a photoelectric detector would would be the recommendation. That way you have both areas covered. Some smoke detectors are made with both technologies built in, which is what Chief Chris Kaufman recommends. We just want people to stay safe. You know, uh, smoke detectors do save lives. It's a very inexpensive cost that, that, that can save a life at any given moment. How expensive are they? The prices are anywhere from, I'm gonna say from 25 to $40 a piece. So you may wanna shop price, and then some of them they sell in packages, so you can get multiple detectors uh, for you know, a little bit less. You want to have multiple detectors because Chief Goffman says where your smoke detectors are is just as important as what kind you have. Put them, if you're in a single story or a two story house, make sure you have them in every bedroom, outside those bedrooms, basically in a hallway and on every level. Knowing what's inside of these could get you outside quicker. Lily Cummings, Eyewitness News. I want to be clear, if you can get both type of detectors in your home, that's great. But if not, any smoke detector is better than no smoke detector at all. And remember, without batteries, these life-saving tools are useless. I know that sometimes we have that little beep. Go ahead and change them. St. Tammany Fire recommends investing in a smoke detector with a lithium battery. Those only need to be replaced once every 10 years. They also recommend detectors that have a carbon monoxide alarm built in.